Oh, it's here. It's finally here. I got it. I got the new MacBook Air. I am, I'm so excited. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring this to work right away. I'm a little shocked, though, why, it's got, uh, why the box is so big. I mean, it's still light. A new MacBook Air. Let's break this puppy open, see what's in here. All right, I got some packing material. That's good. Yeah, the, oh, a black turtleneck sweater. That's good. Hipster glasses. Okay. A uh, roll of Apple stickers. Pretentiousness, okay. Uh, ah, here it is, finally. Wow, you have to go through a lot just to get to this. All right, but I am excited. I am going to go to work on this baby right now. Get this out of here. All right, get there. All right, good. All right, plug that in, and I am ready to go. I'm so excited. I'm drinking this. Uh, oh, they're going to love me. I am going to lord this over everybody. All right, now, all I need to do is get into my corporate applications. I'm sure I could just get right into my corporate applications. Should be easy. No. You just can't do that. I, I, See? I, I, I... <laughs> I, no, come back. I just I wanted to... Uh, Dipto, why didn't you stop him? You're, you're doing me no good. Look, um... This is, this is, this is, you were just talking about being simple. I mean, all I really want to do is get into my corporate applications. I mean, I'm sure, sure there's got to be somebody there who can, who can find a simple way for me to get into my corporate applications. I mean, is there... <laughs> yes! Wow. Oh, hey! How are you? Fine. You had more hair in the picture, though. I, hey, look, I just got my hair, I just got it powdered so I don't glow. Oh, okay, well, yeah, don't, don't knock over Dipto. He's had a little bit to drink. All right, now, now look, I want to get into my corporate applications here, and uh, I, <laughs> the, the big guy came and said no. Well, you know what? Let's do this. All right. So, hopefully they can see on the screen now. Wow, I didn't know you have to do this for IT. All right. So, I'm just wanting to... Uh, I'm just wanting to get into the corporate applications. Oh, uh, tech support. Wow, how come he didn't have a fancy introduction? I, you know, I have no earthly clue. He's got as much hair as I do, though, have you noticed? Yeah, I think that's, it's got to be a thing with IT. There we go. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. All right. Yeah, applaud him. He's good, isn't he? He's really good. You've got to applaud those guys, because at some point you'll need them. All right. So I want to get in my uh, corporate applications, get it onto my, did you notice I got the new MacBook Air? Yeah. Very, very I slick. Know. I'm I impressed. You I'm should impressed. be. That's the only reason I bought it. Where'd you now get look, the money? Little here, little there. Now look, I just want to get the applications on. What do I have to do? So you know what? We yeah. just created this brand new interface. Oh, it makes okay. it real easy for you to uh, request your corporate applications. All right. Pretty intuitive. Right up there at the top left-hand corner. Make a request? Make a request. Give it a shot. Oh, oh you're going to make me do it. So wow. easy, so easy, and end user can do it. <laughs> or me. All right, so I'm going to there. Okay, so I got to. Uh, you might want to put in your user ID and password okay. there, my friend. Well, that's pretty simple. Uh, let's see. There you go. Log in there. Okay. Boom, look at that. All right. Amazing. So, featured requests, these are the, uh, the yeah, these are the apps I want to do. So, I'm assuming. You're not going to help me again, so I'm assuming I'll just uh, click on these things I want. I'm just here to provide guidance. <laughs> and charge me a lot for it. All right. <laughs> so I got that. I want to request a little SAP. Yep. Got the Salesforce. want to request that. All right. Um, I'm interested in corporate financials because I hear that Jay is either a VP or president. I want to see which one he is. All right. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I'm going to request that. All, all right. right. I got hey. all those requests. I'm good to go now? You're good. Well, you know. I guess you're probably going to want me to uh, approve that. Oh, well, yeah, if you're going to you know, make me go the extra route. Yeah, approve me. Let's get well, this going know, here. Sometimes I like to be mobile, so I'm going to walk over here for a little bit. Sometimes I like to be immobile. I don't hey. judge. So now that I have my brand new mobile application to approve your request, okay. let me see what I got going on here. Do a little refresh. And I should see your request come up here shortly. All right. 
Oh. See, that'll teach you for being mobile. There's one. Up oh, there oh. you go. Well, all right. There's three requests right there. I see a little Salesforce. I tell you what, make this easy on myself. I'm going to do a little multi-select here. Something that new that we've created. Okay. Corporate financial uh, Salesforce. Go ahead and say yes to that one. All right. Good. Thanks. A little SAP. I, I'm assuming you know you're going to try to sell something. Assume all you want. That sounds good. It would be nice. <laughs> all right. Okay. So I got that one for you. I'm going to go ahead and prove that. Good. And you're just done. Get the... oh, whoa, whoa. Corporate financials. Well, yeah. You know, I need to I wanna, you know make sure the company's doing well. I want to make sure I, I I'm up to date on things. I want to make sure my bonus is going to come through. I, uh... uh. Yeah. No. What? Denied. <laughs> you're done. You know, so it looks like you got your corporate applications on your own device. Right. I got to approve it mobile. Yep. Looks like my job here is done. Your you job here that? is done. You didn't do anything. You just pushed a couple buttons. It's that easy. Wow. Well, you enjoy that. Since I'm done, I have nothing less to do. I'm going to go skiing. You have a great day. See you later. <laughs> oh, thanks. Thanks. Bye. I think IT is shifting dramatically now. All right. All right, so now that I've got this, I, you know, I've got this sleek new thing. I don't need, uh, I don't need my big computer anymore. I just need to, now I need to figure out what to do with my, uh, with my old device here. Oh, I'll hook this. Oh, all right, now I just need to know what I can do with this thing. B O I D. B O I D. B-O-Y-D! Hey, hold, hold on, hold on. B-O-Y-D! Hey, hold on, you, you, you're yelling B-O-Y-D, but we're talking about B-Y-O-D. What's B-O-Y-D? Bring out your dead! <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, uh, that seems to work all right. I've got, a, I've got a good old dead machine just right here. I mean, that's, uh, you don't get much more dead than that thing. I mean, look at that. It's not quite dead. No, no, that's dead. That's definitely dead. <laughs> no, no, look, it's... <laughs> nope, it's not quite dead enough. Sure about that. Look, I think I understand. <laughs> you think we can, uh, you think we can uh, make that thing a little dead, if you know what I mean? <laughs> in there. <clears throat> Great. Oh, the cart's just right here. You can put it right on the... All right. Oh, I, I, B-O-Y-D! B-O-Y-D! Um, B-O-Y-D! By the way, that money was a prop. I want it back. All right, well, now that I've got that, I think I'm ready to go. All right, so he showed me it was so simple uh, to do that. Now I... Oh, well, what I need to do now is put my, uh, my corporate, I mean, my, my cloud applications on here. Well, I should be able to do that. I just need my corporate credentials. No, I, just, I just want to. No. You've already been told. You can't do that. Huh. I thought gingers were supposed to be nice. Oh, well, this is, this is really... Dipto, speak to me, Dipto. It's like you can see right into my soul. Listen, all I want to do is I want to put my cloud applications on. I just want to use my corporate credentials. Isn't there a way that we can do this? Please. My trusty steed. <laughs> trusty steed? I thought you were doing Gundam style there for a well, minute coming you know, on. I, I could have done it. <laughs> I'm not sure what they would. What are you doing here? I've got the horse. <laughs> yeah, braggart. All right, come on. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Yeah! 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 All right, well, well, look, hey. Man, you've got the coolest, uh, you know, AD ever. All right, yeah. now listen, what I want is, um, I just want you to help me here. I want to do my, my cloud access. I want to be able to get into that, and I want you to be able to help me out here. Well, you know, 
there's an easy way for you to do this because we're using NetIQ here at Digital Airlines. Oh, well, all right. So the great part about it is we have a brand new product that we're going to show you now. And integrating cloud applications has never, ever been easier. All of you guys in IT, I know that users go around you every single day. And you need to stop that. You need to have them be able to go to you. You need to be the service broker. So with this capability, they can come to you instead of around you. So here we are in our new product. And we're going to go ahead and log in. Yeah. And I'm going to use, again, my super secret password. It's NetIQ, by the way. With three zeros, I saw you oh, typing. Yeah. So look at how we've done this already. Because remember, Bob, that you mm -hmm. had been provisioned yeah. with Salesforce. We've already integrated it here with Active Directory. All right. But here at Digital Airlines, we don't use Active Directory. We use a real directory. Of course. So we're going to go over here and drag that in. <laughs> so we've got to make sure that gets in there. I feel more superior already. Exactly. Now, other applications you might use, this product comes with many, many other type of applications that you can just simply drag and drop. Mm -hmm. So we go in here. It's not quite like the drop that you saw on the edge of the stage, though. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead, put Zoho in here. All right. Just that easy. Could be configured with my Google applications, which happens to be the number one used application for cloud applications today. You saw that I just dragged and dropped that on there. Right. Have you ever stopped, stepped in a drag and drop? <laughs> yeah, it'll ruin don't, your shit. I don't think so. We're going to configure that. Now, Again, it's important that your credentials never, ever leave the enterprise, OK? I've heard that so about those, Star Trek. So those credentials should stay there. What we're going to do is we're going to automatically do a SSO connection using SAML. And we're just going to come in here. I'm going to put my really good, make sure I'm typing it all right, ranchair.com. Again, my super secret password. Make sure we put all those in there. The three of them. The th all three. Mm -hmm. And then brainshare.com. Now, ladies and gentlemen, of course, we're doing this live today, as you noticed earlier. <laughs> and then we click on OK. And just that easy, Bob, uh -huh. we have gone in and configured and used your credentials from the enterprise and configured it. In less than an hour, you can do this with your existing environment. Integrate cloud applications, no rip and replace. And Dipto behind you there never has to be bored. <laughs> that, this is rim shot needed to come in on that one. <laughs> now, my capacity manager has told me, because we're adding so many users to our SAP system, that we're run, running out of capacity. Now, my brain has a lot of times run out of capacity. <laughs> but in this particular case, we're running out of capacity. So I've used my mobile device. And I'm going to simply sign in because we're using one of our trusted service providers who's using capabilities from NetIQ. <clears throat> Sorry, let me just re restart this for a second. That's OK. I'm just going to take a little water break while you do that. And I'm going to log in. What? Oh, sure. <laughs> so now we see that I have my, <laughs> that dip tail really freaks me out. <laughs> I'm going to create a business Not service. Not as much as the real one, but yeah. yeah. You can. <laughs> he is always behind me, though, watching what I'm doing. Since I work for Digital Airlines, I'm going to choose Digital Airlines. I click on Next, and I'm in the IT role, so I go to the next screen. Now, I want to create a business service, so I'm going to create one you know, that's really exciting. Mm -hmm. And I click on Next, and I just realized that some of this isn't up on my screen, so that's really cool. So if you can see it from the back there, I am actually doing this. <laughs> The, uh, if you want to see more of this, you can come to IT Central. That's exactly why we did this demo this way, is so that you can come to IT Central and see it for yourself. That's clever. <laughs> clever. All right. It looks like my screen is actually working in the front here, which there we go. Look at that. The power of technology. So you see my different services that I have here. I've got my Microsoft services, Novell, SAP, SUSE. We need more. A database, so we click on Next. Now, service levels are very important, of course, when you're working with service providers, but also within the IT department. If we look at what my gold service level is, you can see 99% availability, uh, CPU cost, memory cost. But as I look at the platinum one, the platinum is actually what I want to choose. So I select platinum, 
click on Next, give it again a really cool name. We're going to put it in Digital Airlines. This, Bob, is by far my favorite password, which is B. And we create that. And just that simple, ladies and gentlemen, we now go in here and we order additional capacity. That simple, it's that easy to add capacity to your environment because you're working with a trusted service provider. That's good. Oh, man, now it's, it's finally caught up to you. you it, it did catch up. It's hard for people to catch up to me. <laughs> so, pretty simple, wasn't that it? That is pretty simple. I think, I think I've got everything I need here. In fact, I don't even think I need this anymore. I think what I'm going to do, Dipto and I are going to go, I'm going to uh, BYOD and bring my own Dipto, and he's going to be my wingman. That so sounds I'm gonna, good. <laughs> wish right. me luck. Thanks, Bob. All right. So Richard, I've seen that you've demonstrated how NetIQ can help organizations respond to user requests at the speed of business, but there's something critical you left out. What, what did I le leave out? You didn't mention what impact this has on security and compliance. That's true. Can you show us anything? Absolutely. Because this process starts with what the enterprise has in place already and extends it for the cloud, no new policies, controls, or monitoring are required. You get to use what you have in place today. You've already been monitoring the user requests, the approvals, the denies, and the provisioning activity. Now it simply includes both enterprise and cloud. And it's provided in context of the identity and the role of both the requesting user and the provisioning administrator to the security analyst. Well, this means that in the week or month later where there's a compliance audit, there's no need to panic. The same reports that were delivered before can be delivered again. No changes are required. The information will be in the reports for both enterprise and cloud. But as you all know, this isn't enough. Organizations must be able to do more than just monitor provisioning activity. You must be able to monitor how users leverage the rights they've been granted. This is done through both monitoring policy deviations, but also looking at anomalies, where anomaly is a deviation from typical behavior. An example of this is shown right here, where Bill, a member of the administrator team, logged in uncharacteristically late and accessed sensitive information. And when he did so, the system detected the, the violation or the deviation from typical behavior and automatically provided the information to the security analyst. And he provided it in context to Bill's identity and his role within the organization, arming the administrator to be able to determine whether this is appropriate or nefarious activity and respond accordingly. It's also... Cr hey, Matt, this is great. You've been showing us these uh, reports. Do you, this is work for the geeks, but uh, do you have any executive dashboards you can show us? Absolutely. It's critical to be able to take this type of security information and roll it up and provide that type of context to the executive management. And one way of doing that is to not only take the security information, but take also some operational information about availability and or uptime, SLA information, for instance, along the lines of taking statistics about how well the organization is responding to provision, uh, provisioning activity or other user requests, oh, and providing it in a business impact dashboard just like this one. Excellent. Hey, thanks, Matt. So now you've seen how NetIQ products allow you to deliver solutions at the speed of business.